is here. And all together with my wife. We want to tell you we love you. Um, if you go to some churches, um, they don't get it as um, we have it here. We are yet to ordain the kings, the elders, and lay pastors this year. But then, even though we have never ordained anybody. People have taken up responsibilities. And sometimes when there's anything, I see you going around organizing and making sure that there will not be any room um, left. You ensure that things are done properly. And we keep moving. We have gone through several challenges when it comes to place of worship. We have moved to places. As I talk now, we meet here on Fridays. And so we meet here on Sundays and on every first Friday. And we meet Friday somewhere else. And we go to office somewhere else. And we do meetings somewhere else. Other meetings. But still, say still, still. TBCI members, you are still following. Amen. And you still come in your numbers. Clap for yourself. Um, from the depths of our heart, we want to say we love you. We appreciate you. And all we will do is continue to pray for you. Amen. That God will keep you and provide for you all the time. In Jesus' name. Amen. Say amen. amen. And so I will do this clap to all of you. Amen. Yes. This woman is the forgive me. This woman have been the sugar and the toffee in my mouth all these years. I'm not going to talk much because we don't have time. But there are some wives who are not very good team players at all. But this woman, she's a perfect team player. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's so well, you can tell. Amen. Amen. When it comes to the work, when it comes to home, and when it comes to everything, everything. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And so I want to say here, that from the depths of my heart, I wanted to take her some, to some places. But because of the death of her mother, <laughs> I've decided to relax. Wait. Wait. Hallelujah. Amen. This thing, when you go and open it, hey. and you see how it will shake you. If you have to move on, sir, I love you from the depths of my heart. Hallelujah. And no woman can take that place. Amen. Keep forgiving me like you keep forgiving me. And keep loving me. Let's keep doing this work well. And I know in heaven, when we stand before the judgment seat, the moment God calls me, He will call you to I want to do this work. But I want to go on my knees to tell you that I'm ready. To go this journey for life. Amen. Yes. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. All right. I think I'm the next to do my. Okay. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. To love somebody doesn't mean 
giving something big to the person, love can be shown in so many ways. Amen. Yes. I'm the type who always see me smiling. In good times and in bad times, I have to smile. Because the gift God has given to me is not only praying for people or prophesying that shows that you have a gift. But to put on a smiling face is also a gift. Amen. Because at times, even when you fake it, it's not possible. It's by the grace of God. Amen. Amen. You know, I was telling my daughter, if I had not met Pastor, maybe the gift of God upon my life wouldn't have been as you are saying. Because it's not all men who give it up quickly. Because at times, the time for him must be used for God's work. But you really understand. Amen. Amen. I thank you so much. I salute you. I love you. I've never seen any man than you because in my life, you are the only man in my prayer. That we will live long so that we will marry to the end. Amen. And even in, when we die, we will still marry. Amen. 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 If we go to heaven, we will tell Jesus that we are good friends. Amen. Hallelujah. I love you. And uh, when we met, I met Pastor when I was 18 years. He's the first man I've ever known in my life. So this time. And anytime I get a new mobile phone, I don't use it, I give it to you. Use it when it's old and you give it to me. And so quite recently, you see media and other things, you all learn to be a little wise, you know. But somebody did this for me. The person knows him or yourself. Yeah. With my picture, with so many souvenirs, looking so beautiful. This is just chocolate, you all know. But to have my picture on it, I give it right. That is good. I give it to my husband. Yes! yes. yes. Because if he eats the sweet what sweet things, he will give it back to me. Yes. Yes. So you see women. Don't wait someone to say, me, I don't have money. Mm -hmm. Ask pastor. I don't like saying bad things, but I've never even done that. Mm -hmm. But I always want to give. It's also a gift. Mm -hmm. Give it to somebody that doesn't even <coughs> take your words, like I said. No. It can be something small. But when there is love, it looks so important in the sight of the person. Mm -hmm. So my darling, my sweet one, yeah. the one who can make me happy. Yes, sir. Hey, hey. Hey. One time you told me, that if you are not careful, I'll tell you what you've been doing to you. Today. <laughs> this is chocolate. It is something that looks so nice and sweet with my face. After you have eaten, after you finish taking the chocolate, I want you to cut where the love is and put it in your wallet. Amen. Amen. So you do, Also acknowledge my children. They are doing very well. Amen. Thank you for that. Thank you. When I left them, always they were complaining when they closed from church, they had nobody to go to. So when they came, they thought when they close, they will see me, we'll be together, we we'll go to places. But this time it's rather worse. At times when you come on Wednesday, I will still be around doing consultation. 3 a.m., they will still be in the office sleeping. Some children are not good. They can take it to be far. But God being so good. They are good, and they have known what I'm doing, and they appreciate it. They never complain. My girl used to complain at first, but now not. I thank God for your life. And I pray that, that which I, your father and myself, couldn't do, you will do them in the house. Amen. Amen. Why don't you walk towards me, Juanita and Jerry? I know Jeff is always busy somewhere. This toffee is made from condensed milk. It is very sweet. You will see it with toffee like this, but I have prayed over it. That God will let your life be sweet. Amen. May you never lack any good thing on this earth. Wherever you stand and you need anything, you lift your hand to God. May the Almighty God remember His way, your Father and myself with that, and always provide your needs according to His riches and glory. You'll be the head and not the tail. As you take this toffee, may the Lord lead you and guide you in Jesus' name. If King is here, he's the elder, so I will not give it to you first. King, take this. As you are the first fruit of my womb, may the Lord grant you the strength of firstborn. May you not lack any good thing. 
you always admire me. Today I was telling him something. That kid, when I grow old, you'll be doing this and be doing this. I said, oh, mama, don't say that. you never grow old. I said, no, no. If today I can't find my mother anymore, then one day I'll grow old. Can I give you this toffee? That your life will be sweet. You admire this word so much. No man born of woman can put you down. Because your life is hidden in Christ Jesus. He will keep you, preserve you, protect you. He will take you very, very far. Wherever the source of your soul, your feet are turned upon, the Lord will give that place to you. Many will cry to look for you. You show them nothing but Jesus. The Lord will help you. He will bring helpers around you. He will show to you the people to go with. How to do it. And when to do it. And where to do it. And you will never fail in life. I decree and declare as your mother who push you through pain. That as you take this coffee, your life will be sweet. Better and best to the glory of God. And I see this word in the blood of Jesus. That no man born of woman can reverse this. Amen. I want your father to do your hand. Clap your hands Sweet papa, <laughs> she's always fighting me. I put my scarves as she did. I put my jewelry as she did. I say until I say everything for you is mine. I say don't worry. As I give you this stuff, you are a beautiful lady. I pray that God will keep and preserve you. As I know no man in my life except your father, and he has been a blessing to me. May God give you a very good and a wonderful future. Amen. May you never cry over anything Amen. that which our mercy couldn't do on this earth. Amen. May the Lord endow you. Amen. May the Lord bestow upon you blessings, Amen. special blessings that no man can compare him or himself to you. As you take this stuff here, it is sweet on your lips. May the Lord God, by his power, ordain you spiritually. May it manifest physically. You will not die before your time. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. What is this? Uh, I want the Pharisees to come and stand here. Clap on to the Lord for the life of the Pharisees. Thank you, sir. Wahamalanti. Oh, Wahamalanti. Oh, Wahamalanti. See you Wahamalanti. Instrumentalists, please join them. All the choristers, even if you are not singing, come and stand by them. I thank God so much for the lives of this one. The instrumentalists, those who come always and even once a while, join them. Today, I bless you with the blessings of the Most High God. Whenever you sing, you empower me to do the work and do it even more. Today, as I give you this trophy, may Jehovah God who saw me on a sick bed and took me out of nothing and had favor and I had favor in his sight and brought me to this land for me to be a blessing. May he be your God. Amen. I know you have special desires upon your heart. May this God never forget you. Amen. I have nothing but God. Anytime I stretch my hand, I see God. Whenever I close my eyes, I see God. When I listen quiet, I hear from him. Today, may he hear from you. Amen. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May you never give up. This journey is not easy at all, at all, at all, at all. But he who has sustained me and my husband, may he sustain all of you. Amen. Today, from the depth of my heart, as I give you this trophy, may God bless you. Amen. May the Lord keep you. Amen. May God grant you long life. Amen. As the trophy is sweet on your mouth, whatever you have requested for many years for stepping to this church, May the Lord grant it up to you. Amen. In Jesus' name, shout out to the Amen. This is my last baby. And I say last baby. Pastor said, don't say that. It's my last baby. Because the work now is very difficult. 
Ishra is a living testimony. Amen. Every day I've been talking about Ishra. And God proved to me that if Ishra is alive today, then he can use me and my husband to do all things. Amen. Ishra, mercy, but I call you mercy, but Ishra. God bless you. God preserve your life. He is very sweet. When I came from the hospital, he didn't suck it, then I'm doing consultation. And look at this baby boy. Ishra, you are a great man. Amen. You will love God. Amen. You walk with him. Amen. You will save lives. In the name of Jesus, Amen. as you take this coffee, your life will never be the same. Mama loves you, okay? He called me, Nancy, where are you? <laughs> Nana, where are you? I said, Go, Mama, say, Mama, Mama, Mama. I don't know what to say. My darling, my sweet wife, I love you. Mwah. Take it. It's your right time. Better luck you. Shy. Shy. Hey. Shy. Hey. Hey. Mommy says, come to us, me. Let Rapita come first. With long life, the Lord will satisfy you. In Jesus' mighty name. Bruno and Lucy. With long life, God will satisfy you. In Jesus' mighty name. With long life, God will satisfy you. In Jesus' mighty name. With long life, God will satisfy you. In Jesus' mighty name. With long life, God will satisfy you. In Jesus' mighty name. With long life, God will satisfy you. In Jesus' mighty name. With long life, God will satisfy you in Jesus' mighty name. With long life, God will satisfy you in Jesus' mighty name. With long life, God will satisfy you in Jesus' mighty name. With long life, God will satisfy you in Jesus' mighty name. With long life, God will satisfy you in Jesus' mighty name. Put in your mouth, don't give your children for you. When you are fruitful, it will affect your children. With long life, God will satisfy you in Jesus' mighty name. With long life, God will satisfy you. In Jesus' mighty name. With long life, God will satisfy you. In Jesus' mighty name. With long life, God will satisfy you. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. I see something happening now. With long life, God will satisfy you. In Jesus' mighty name. With long life, God will satisfy you. In Jesus' mighty name. Don't think. With long life, God will satisfy you. In Jesus' mighty name. The Holy Spirit told me that leave one of the talking on the floor so that this place will be sweet for your second Amen. <laughs> You see, I, heard, I said that something is happening now. And the toffee, so I said, I'll wait when I finish. And God says, put it in put it will go down. Amen. With long life, God will satisfy you in Jesus' mighty name. With long life, God will satisfy you in Jesus' mighty name. It will ask together for the Lord. Oh, clap, 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 clap. Let love see the earth. This is Francis Dapa. That's it. Give me a microphone, please. A proper microphone, isn't it? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm here to express. My love, real love to everybody. When I came here first, I love people as just church members. And as I stayed longer, I became friends with people and I love them as friends. But now I see the real love, which we call the Akepi love, which we are celebrating here. But when I'm away, the messages I get and people expressing their concern about me, I really see that this church has been sown in love. And that love is very, very contagious. And I'm sure anybody who comes here will feel that love. I love everybody here in GBCI with the real love of God. Hallelujah. My second expression is for my wife. My lovely wife, Mrs. Lisa Piedra. When we met, I fell in love as a woman. As I should live closer, live longer, then I fell in love as a friend. He became a real friend to me. But now, not like he just being a friend to me, 
but it also become my spiritual companion. Amen. Because we do everything together, we pray together, and we share the Bible together. And she encourages me a lot. Sometimes when I'm this like, maybe I, I just, as a man, I just switch on the television. Switch it off. Let's, let's listen to something better. Let's pray or let's um, read the scripture. And it's much better to me, what she's helped me to achieve, is better than giving me gold. That's real love in Christ. So I want to tell her, with all my faults, she has still loved me up to this time. And I want to say, I appreciate that. I love, I also love you from the bottom of my heart. A round of applause. My next expression is for my children. No child is perfect. And I want to tell my daughter, Elsie. I think I'll tell Michael too if she was here. With all your faults as a teenager, and you know how the youth, sometimes they think they know more. But with everything that's happened, I still love you. I love you as my daughter. I love you as a friend. I love you with the love of God. Amen. I also want to appreciate Papa and Mama. I want to tell you I love you. In the same way, when I came here, I love for them both. I love them as a pastor, as a prophetess. Because I was getting something, they were praying with me, and whenever I needed help, I would go to them. But now I don't see them, but I don't have that love. Like, love that you, because somebody did something you appreciate. But now I feel that genuine love, the love of God, that happy love that you are talking about. I feel that love. And as uh, we are here, to, I want to show just a little appreciation to Papa and Mama that, like somebody said, silver, have, silver and gold are by now. But what I, what I give you is that the, the anointing of God upon you should be higher and greater so that you be a blessing to everybody who comes into contact with you. Thank you all for coming today, especially now you have come to show your appreciation and love to Mama in this occasion. I think this is a very wonderful time for us all. God bless you all. And before I go, I want to give this to Mama and Papa. This is a small token, so they also remember this day. It's not something big, but I want you to appreciate it. It's something you can share. It's a small thing you can share. And I give you to this in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless you. A round of applause. Auntie Adi Marinos, TCBI. Oh, dear. Then after them, Brother Michael Ogidi, they prepare. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today we've come here to appreciate our love to everybody in this church. And we are grateful that we can come here. They are not hearing your voice. Especially, I want to express the love for my wife. We have been here already. We've been together for almost 36 years now. Oh, wow.
God bless you. Brother Michael Ogidi. Then after that, Nadia from Suriname. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. See, when you talk about love, I personally get very emotional. Because it's a very strong word. But of course, we take it for granted. Agape is a Greek word, and that means love. Agapaumu, I love you. Agapausu, you love me. Agapaumu. It goes on and on and on. It's great grammatical. Um, I'm not going to sit, stand here and teach Greek. But uh, what I want to tell you is that Papa and Mama, um, as you all know, Pastor Moshe is my younger brother. Show him some love. Show him some love. This is now the first church that I've attended in Holland that is predominantly Ghanaian. But I don't see people as Ghanaians or Nigerians, but I see everybody as human beings. I, am, I interact with everybody, and uh, that is very important. What is important to me is not your color or how tall or how big you are, but he, you know, using it properly as a human being and doing what you're supposed to do in the house of God. Sometimes I can be crazy here. I'm very blunt because I know what I, I want to achieve from God. And I want to, I know what God wants me to do in this house. But it's not that I don't love you. I love you all. From the bottom of my heart. Uh, my great younger brother, as the most introduced me here, or introduced us here, before we used to come once in a while, until we found love in this church through Papa and Mama. And the love the church for us. Undescribable. So we decided to make this church our church. Amen. So we used to make that we love you and we are here to stay. Amen. And also, I'd uh, like to extend that love to my dear wife. Amen. Whose wife, whose birthday is today? Amen. But we started celebrating this birthday until midnight yesterday. <laughs> I don't expect any gifts here because the gifts are not given at home. Amen. We turned midnight last night. So we started celebrating and uh, wow. you know it was celebration gala See, this morning we woke up and made breakfast for her. And I'm <laughs> like I always call you mommy. I love you. I'm blown up my heart. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. And Francis Taylor, get prepared. <laughs> you want to speak, God? Yeah, go ahead. Take uh, Pastor Danny, Mama Mercy. I go all for you. I've been in so long here. And I thank you for the gelegenheid bij Ik zit al een paar maanden hier in de gemeente en ik, uh, ik heb liefde ervaren. En ik, uh, toen Pastor uh, Jerry vroeg, zeg maar, wie wat wil zeggen aan de anderen, heb ik niet geschroomd om te zeggen dat ik wel wat te zeggen heb. Want de God die wij dienen is een God van liefde en we moeten elkaar liefhebben. Maar ik heb deze... De, dit, uh, bloem, deze bloemen heb ik speciaal meegenomen voor uh, Mama Lou, meer bekend als Elie. Wow. Wow. Elie, ik wil je zeggen, we zijn familie, ik hoor heel veel van je. En het komt uit het diepste van mijn hart. Je bent iemand die mij bemoedigt. Je, uh, je weet het niet, maar je vermaakt me soms. Ik kan je soms niet zeggen. En op een heel nette manier zeg je tegen me van, nou, je niet zo denk dat zo hoort. We zijn kinderen van God. Blijf me bemoedigen. Yes. 
Okay, and we gaan door met de heer. Laten we de weg, de, de, de weg van de heer laten we het wasmaken. En doorgaan met hem, want hij die beloofd is, is stroken. Ik hou van je. Wauw, dat is een goede weg. Dat is een goede weg. Dat is een Francis Taylor. Praise the Lord. If my Sammy, wife, can you get the bed when you finish? If Mrs. Taylor is for please, can you join the girl? Most of you know me and where I'm coming from. This lady has really changed my life tremendously. The very first time I met her till now, I've never regretted. And if I should, should go, as Mama said, life after death, I will still live for her and marry her. I love her so much. And by her prayer and effort and advice, that has made you what I am today. Baby, you know how much I love you. In the presence of them, I tell you I love you so much. And the only thing I can say is to let you as part. Everything that I do which is not pleasing, please forgive me and let's go on. I know it's not easy, but you are making me what I am. God bless you for using me to make me what I am. Yeah.